In this video, we will understand three closely related concepts, database, DBMS and database system and similarities and differences between them. Let's start with database. A database is a collection of interrelated data. The term interrelated indicates that the data should be organized and related within a certain context. For example, a list of students in a classroom, grocery items to buy, names of all the books in a library. All these can be considered as a database. And similarly, you can think of many other collections of logically related data. This data can be presented in a piece of paper or it could be in your mind or it could be in a computer. There is no restriction as such. All these examples qualify to be a database. But in this video series, we will be talking about the computerized database. By computerized, I mean the data stored in computers. A database can be as small as your to-do list for the day or it can be a list of billions of items. Here the one on the left is a to-do list. It has only a few records so it can be easily maintained by writing it down on a piece of paper or in a plain text file on a computer. The one on the right represents the database of an e-commerce website and therefore it has thousands of records. So maintaining it manually using pen and paper is not possible at all. You can try using a plain text file on your computer as shown below, but this will be very ineffective and problematic. That's because performing regular tasks like reading the data, adding new records and updating existing records etc is going to be very difficult in a plain text file. So to maintain such databases, we have special software which is called DBMS. Let's talk about DBMS. It stands for Database Management System. It is a set of programs or you can say a collection of programs used to store, retrieve and manipulate data in a database. DBMS is basically a computerized record keeping system that makes maintaining data convenient, more organized and efficient. When we say data, it could be text, numbers, documents, images, videos, etc. It could be any kind of data that you encounter every day while browsing the web or using software or using social media like Facebook or Twitter. Since you are watching this video on YouTube, you are interacting with a DBMS right now. Yes, YouTube also uses a DBMS to manage all its data. If it is so, then how come you don't see any DBMS software on your computer or mobile device while watching YouTube? Well, that's because YouTube's DBMS software is installed on its server and the server is present in some other part of the world in YouTube's data center. Let me explain quickly. This is your mobile or computer which you are using right now. You are watching a video on YouTube and all the information related to the video like the video's title and description, number of views, number of likes, number of comments and the video itself is stored in YouTube's database. YouTube is fetching all this data from the database using the internet as a medium. We as end users interact with YouTube's interface which is connected to DVMS software that fetches the data from the database. I hope this gives a basic picture of what is database and what is DVMS and instead of YouTube it could be any other application or website for example an e-commerce website an accounting software or a college website. The fundamentals are almost the same in all scenarios. Some of the popular DBMS softwares are MariaDB, MySQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL, MSXS and MongoDB etc. Now let's move to another term, database system. The combination of a database, DBMS and an application working together is called a database system. For example, 
और लाइब्रेरी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम टिकट रिजर्वेशन सिस्टम और यूट्यूब और फेसबुक एंड मेनी मोर देर आर एक्चुअली मेनी डिफरेंट डेटा बेस सिस्टम दैट यू कम एक्रॉस ऑलमोस्ट एवरी डे एंड ऑल ऑफ देम हैव थ्री कंपोनेंट कॉम्प्लीमेंटिंग और सपोर्टिंग इच अदर दो थ्री कंपोनेंट आर और डेटा बेस और डी बी एम एस एंड एन एप्लीकेशन विच वी समटाइम्स ऑल्सो रिफर टू एज एन एप और सॉफ्टवेयर दीज एप्लीकेशन आर रिटर्न यूजिंग प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस लाइक C++ प्लस प्लस और जावा और पी एस पी और एनी अदर सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ लैंग्वेजेस सिंस वी आर द एंड यूजर्स वी ओनली सी द इंटरफेस प्रोवाइडेड बाई द एप्लीकेशन कॉल्ड द यूजर इंटरफेस एंड द डेटा दैट इज बींग डिस्प्लेड टू अर्स इन द यूजर इंटरफेस इज पुल्ड बाई द एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम द डी बी एम एस वी ओनली सी द डेटा दैट इज यूजफुल एंड रिलेवेंट टू अर्स एंड the implementation details are hidden to us for example while using youtube or a school management system we only see a small portion of data in the interface the diagram below is a simplified representation of a database system the systems are not so simple and there is a good amount of complicated stuff going on inside each component but the fundamentals are the same in all database systems now that we have covered the topics there is something you must know to avoid any kind of confusion it's regarding the use of the term database system the term database system is also used as a synonym for dbms when someone says database system the person could also be referring to dbms so how to figure it out then it's simple If someone is asking you the difference between DBMS and database system then you know the specific differences otherwise i mean when speaking casually you can consider them as synonyms finally to summarize a database is a collection of interrelated data DBMS is software designed to store read update and delete data database system is a combination of database dbms and application software and remember that while speaking casually all these terms are used interchangeably that means they can also be used as synonyms sometimes thank you for watching the video i hope it has been helpful you can watch other videos on this playlist to understand some of the important concepts in dbms and Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel Web Tech Paradise.